I uh, just, it's great. Any road win's a great road win. Um, it's a great win for us. I felt like we just played these guys. And um, we knew Ohio State was going to be ready. They came out hot, uh, made a bunch of threes uh, early. Um, um, and uh, and then we kind of settled in. I thought uh, Checo and DeMonte really helped us defensively kind of settle in our defense. Um, and I thought defensively, really, the rest of the way, we were pretty good. Um, Give Ohio State a lot of credit. We struggled offensively. Uh, they did a nice job uh, defensively, and um, uh, it's kept the game close. And then down the stretch again, when the game was on the line, our guys stepped up. We really executed some sets and made some shots, and then we got to the foul line and made, made foul shots. So I think we had one turnover there late trying to use the clock, but besides that, we were, we were really good uh, last four minutes of the game. He looks like a kid's played a ton of minutes over his career, is what he looks like. And uh, he's just become a, I mean, one of his better games. I mean, he only had seven shots. He made five of them. He listened to the coaches. He drove the ball, uh, got to the rim, uh, got to the foul line. Um, and he really defended and he rebounded. It's, I just, it, it, I, we have so much confidence in him defensively. It's amazing what he's doing. I thought his team defense and his individual defense was terrific. So one of his better complete games since he's been at Maryland. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we just shoot we shoot a lot of threes and we'll run post up plays and shoot threes. So it just is me just trying to get us under control, get us better offensively as the year goes on. Now we didn't finish in there tonight like we're capable of finishing. Um, but uh, we did get some second chance points, we got to the rim and we got some deep post touches. So it's gotta become a big part of what we do. And I think it helps you get to the foul line when you can do those type of things because we're not getting there as much driving the ball. Now, late in the game, we did because we spread the floor, but we're just trying to balance our offense as the season goes forward. I was just wondering what you thought about the, the play of Jay Sean Tate. He, um, he had 10 early in the first like seven minutes, but then you guys were able to limit him, I think, to two more field goals the rest of the way. But regardless, he seemed like a, a spark yeah. for them. Ah, he's a great player. He's got high energy. He's a great athlete at the four, which gives us fits. He hit the first three, and I knew it was going to be a hard night trying to guard him. Um, he's been working on his shot. You can tell he, at our place he didn't shoot the ball very well. He's made some threes since they played there a few weeks ago. And uh, he's just so fast. Um, you know he's going left, but you still can't stop it. But I thought we protected the rim, made it hard on him to try to score over our length down there. But he's a terrific player. Coach Mello, Mello started one at one eight from deep, and then he hit the big one. I mean, did you notice anything off of the shot at first? And what does it say about him that he still has the confidence to take that? Yeah, he, Mello's Mello. He, he, when the game's on the line, he he makes plays, and he did it today. So uh, he's confident enough to keep shooting. I thought he had about three looks that looked good in the second half. Had some clean looks, didn't make them. So, but we kept running plays for him. Ran one for Sheed, and then ran one for him. So we have a lot of confidence in him. And like Mello's been since he's been here, he just he's a winner. Wins games for us. Um, this building had not been too kind to you no. and this t this team, and also the city last year yeah. losing here. Do do, um, do 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 sports writers only think of that thing, or do coaches and players also think about it? No, we think about it, and um, we really wanted to win here uh, today. They've they've beat us up pretty good here the last two years, and then of course, NCAA tournament we were here, so it's good to fly home and have a good taste in your mouth one time when you come to Columbus. It's a great city. The people here are unbelievable. Uh, the people in the building, how nice they are and cordial and everything was terrific. They've been that way the whole time, and uh, it's just good to get a win on the road. And just to follow up, well, I know you couldn't practice in here yesterday. Yeah. Well, knowing how superstitious you are, is that going to be part of the routine going forward? No, I think you need to get in the arena. That's why we didn't shoot it well, no. But uh, it's part of it with, with hockey. It's happened twice now, Wisconsin and here uh, with these early games. But um, it's 10 foot everywhere. Uh, 
I just I wonder when, when you're facing a team again after you beat them by 35 and they talked so much about the lack of effort they put forth and you guys pretty much did whatever you wanted against them. What did you expect from Ohio State today? <laughs> and how do you prepare for a team when coming off a game like that? Well, this was hard, okay, because one, they what happened at our place, and then two, we're coming off an emotional win on a Thursday night. And so we did a lot of mental approach to this game. Um, talked about, you know, we, we had a game earlier. We played Northwestern and won big at their place, and they should have beat us at our place, and we ended up winning. So we tried to learn from that experience that we had to be prepared. And I thought we were prepared today. I thought our guys played well. Ohio State's got really good players and a good team. They're just still young. and um, But the improvement they've made in the last – since we played them, it's amazing what they're doing. I think that I think that's that's a heck of a coach. He's won a ton of games, but this might be one of his best coaching jobs. He's doing an amazing job with this team. Coach, we have two more questions. First, Roman. Yeah, Mark. Just real quick, I was curious to to ask you how hard it was to kind of endure the foul trouble tonight, uh, and just have to kind of tinker with the rotation a lot and and kind of you know work your way around that. Yeah, I thought the first half we had a little rhythm. Guys were playing and feeling good. Got Jared nine minutes in the first half. But when she picked up his third, that was a big foul. That was a, that was a huge foul. And we lost a lot of rhythm there. So we got through it. I don't, I don't know if Rasheed ever fouled again. But, um, you know, Robert picking up his third, picked up his fourth. That's two games in a row he's been in foul trouble. Um, but we just worked around it. And um, got good players. I thought DeMonte and Checo allowed us inside to do that. And I, and I thought, you know, Jake, the way Jake and Mello uh, played and Jared gave us good minutes allowed us to overcome uh, Sheets foul trouble. Don, last question, please. Mark, even though he didn't shoot the ball well, uh, Diamond uh, did not have any fouls. How is that? Is that a reflection of staying out of foul trouble or not being physical enough? Or I, I thought his ball screen defense was good. And um, it was a frustrating night for him. Uh, and he still had 10 points, I think. The kid's amazing. Um, so, you know, I told him the sun com will come up tomorrow and uh, we'll move on and he'll, he'll play better. But kid, kids, he draws double teams and he puts pressure, foul pressure on them. But I thought his ball screen defense was better tonight. Thank you. Yep.